Anton, first race here in Darwin this year and you've come away a winner. Happy with that? Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, it's good. It's good to get a one two in qual and then convert that into one two in the race. So uh, yeah, super happy. Um, everyone in the team's stoked. So uh, we'll try and keep up the pointy in tomorrow. Will's 500th race, did you spoil the party? Um, I mean, it, yeah, it's not, it's not something you think about, um, but I mean, that's up for him to decide, but yeah, maybe. But uh, he, he did pull out like an awesome shootout lap, so that's pretty good for his 500th, I think. Um, but yeah, it's awesome just to be up here, both of us up here um, as a half a right race, so yeah. The big talking point for these guys is obviously you guys early in the race on lap one. I'll ask Will in a sec, but your point of view when you guys came together, just run us through how that all happened, how you saw it. Um, yeah, we rolled down into turn five, and then, uh, like, as we break, we both sort of got sucked into each other a little bit, and then we sort of just tangled, tangled all the way through, but we both come out the other side, so hopefully it's all, it's all good racing and it uh, come off as a, a, as a good race on TV from that point of view. And closed a few points there on Shane, which is obviously a good thing for the championship. Confident heading into tomorrow's two races that you can close the gap a bit more? Uh, we'll try, but there's a lot of points to close in there. <laughs> a couple of positions here and there is probably not enough, but uh, yeah, we'll worry about that at the end of the year. We'll just keep trying to go as good as we can and try and win races. And the heat on the circuit, the the tyre PSI, your take, I guess, on the racing conditions? Um, yeah, the heat on the circuit and everything's pretty normal for up here. Um, tyre pressures and stuff not sort of sold on just yet. It was, um, it was all right probably for me out in front, but... Um, yeah, it's uh, after a few laps, you're just sort of on eggshells and just protecting. So, yeah, whether that's a good thing or not, uh, not too sure. All right, I'll leave it there and I'll move on to Will. Will, 500th race, started from pole and came damn close to a victory. How are you feeling? Uh, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a great day. Um, stoked for the team, really. It's um, after a difficult Winton. Um, it's really important bounce back. So, um, great shootout. That was a lot of fun this morning. Um, and just ultimately, the, the result for the team is, is far bigger than me being a bit disappointed about being second. It's, it's a great move by Anton at the start. It was good fun. Um, and uh, what can I say? Yeah, just it was really important from Winton. We all worked well together. We've worked really hard the last few weeks to uh, achieve a result like this. So um, this is all, all about the team tonight. You just mentioned it there. You're 500 races in, but you're still disappointed to come second. That fire's still burning? Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. No, no. I'm honestly, I'm probably, ha I'm really happy. I'm just so happy to be a part of the team and to get results like this is huge. You just see how the camaraderie between both our crews and all the group, um, you know, it's just a win for everyone. So, of course, you want to win. That's what we want to do. Um, but uh, came down to the start and uh, Anton pulled off a great move. What can I say? So I actually led into first corner this year. A bit different to the two poles here on the Sunday last year where Shane got me off the start. So I thought, oh, maybe I'm on here. And then he's pulled off the, uh, the major dive down the outside. And tricky with your teammates side by side through a corner like that. You don't really want to be touching. So it so obviously gave him room. And he, he did a good job hanging on the outside. And down into five, I sort of thought maybe I could hang on the outside. And then there was a little bit of contact. And it was no big deal. Just need to have, have a look what happened there. But I wasn't sort of expecting it. So it's just what happens at close quarters through there. The cars are moving and sliding and bouncing around. So it's a bit exciting. But... Uh, Ultimately, Anton got the job done, and then we had to really just protect the, the position for the team from there. And after the collision, is there anything over the radio to either of you saying, you know, leave it here, boys? <laughs> no, 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 it wasn't even mentioned, no. I got copped a bit of a knock on the right front, so the thing I said was just the steering's a little bit out, but no, it wasn't, yeah, it was, it was yeah, not, not a big deal. It wasn't, I think it was all pretty clean racing. Otherwise, turn one was really fair and clean. I think that was just one of those things we got a bit tangled. It wasn't uh, anything in it more than that. And, sorry, we've got some music cranking. Don't know where that's coming from, guys. Uh, but just a quick one, Will, leading into 500, I think the other nine blokes who've reached 500 before you all said it was just a number. Is there any nerves? Is there any feeling the night before, the day of? You had the cupcakes this morning. Anything this morning leading into it that gave it a bit more feeling? Um, no, not really. It is just a number. And, yeah, I suppose surviving in this industry all that time is a good thing. It's a pretty cutthroat industry. It's certainly been some highs and lows. Found myself in some pretty small teams and difficult situations. And just to be in a top-notch organisation like this, again, and being able to enjoy your racing with such professionals is really what it's all about. So to see the, uh, you know, little thing they did for me this morning, the cupcakes, and have that respect means a lot because you don't expect too many favours in this sport. So it's nice when you get 
a little bit of recognition, but otherwise, you know, we, we, we're here to get results and that's really all that matters. But still going strong and that's the main thing. Still very hungry um, after 500 like I was in my first year. All right, congratulations Cheers. on the second placing. Shane, moving on to you. Sorry to <laughs> interrupt. Fine. I know very TV. important things going on over in New Zealand for you. Yeah. Uh, mate, I guess the result coming third, how are you feeling with that? Oh, good and bad. We were just following, so we tried three tyres to do something different and try to get faster slap, but then also have a shot. And um, fortunately, our pit stop didn't go that well, so uh, yeah, it just ran out of laps. Did you feel after the pit stop you had to push a bit harder? I mean, when you were around Scott Pye, Brock, it seemed pretty tight, but... I just drive flat out. And uh, from your point of view, did you think you could close the gap if there was maybe another lap or two you could have got the um, yeah, I don't know. We would have been there, maybe had a more of a shot if it was the better pit stop, but yeah, we didn't. But, does, it, um, yeah. does the three tyres today change anything for tomorrow? Oh, not really. Two tyres is the way to win the race because you can't pass, but we just wanted the three points. You know, we were never going to pass these guys. They're too good, good drivers, cars are good. So we thought we'd try the three tyres. You know, we knew we'd give up some spots, but, you know, we end up losing nine points instead of 14. All right, I'll leave it there with Shane and Jernos. Any questions from AVL and Simon to start? Uh, Will, um, the way you sort of explained the, the first five corners there racing Anton, if it was someone else, do you think you might have been a bit more aggressive with your line through two, three and four and tried to sort of shut the door a bit more heading into five? Oh, no, there's nothing I could have done at two, three, four. That's, you know, 200 plus K an hour there, side by side. <laughs> you got a bit going on there, just trying to uh, keep yourself on the track. So obviously I was hopeful I could maybe go down, back down his, his outside um, at five, like he'd done to me at one, but um, it was just that little bit of contact on the turn in point. So um, no biggie, it's pretty normal stuff here in Darwin, to be honest. So um, turn one, anyone else, I maybe could have run it in a bit, bit harder and maybe had a little bit of contact. Um, just to get him in the marbles, but uh, obviously I'd, you don't want to be touching with your teammate, but as I said, um, he, he held it pretty well there in the mid-track. There's often a bit of marbles there, but he was able to hold real good mid-corner speed through one next to me, so I was sort of boxed in and couldn't do much, so kudos to Anton, really. It was a great move. And from a race pace perspective, do you feel that, you know, if you had have led through turn five or led through the first lap, you could have had the pace to win the race? Yeah, absolutely. I think, as we saw, there wasn't really anything in it from that from that point between us and um, you know we'd already discussed before we were both like well let's see what happens off the start and then we really we're going to ultimately work together to get result for the team so we knew that start was crucial and then we were going to settle in and make sure we both were going to uh, manage our tyres as best possible so um, from that point on I think we were managing a very similar pace so um, hey that's what that's what's important these days is leading that first corner and wasn't my day. David did you cop any Contact, or sorry, not contact, any damage after that contact? Uh, no, nothing major. Probably knocked the toes out a little bit, but wouldn't say damage. Yeah, okay. cool. uh, Anton, you've had a lot of second and third places this year. Um, how good is it just to get that final, that first win of the year finally ticked off? Uh, yeah, it's good. We've been close a fair few times. Um, we know we've had had it in us on, on certain days, so to get it at today is uh, really good, and to get it as a one-two is even better. So, uh, yeah, it's an awesome day for the team. Uh, Shane, just quickly... Um, I know you're not a super big fan of the new tyre pressure rules. How much did that maybe affect uh, chasing these two blocks down? Same as yesterday. If I say how bad it is, I'll get in trouble. <laughs> Easy. Everyone good? No more questions on that? Well done, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.